Hey guys, welcome back. It's been forever. Um, and I was reminded today that I haven't made a video in ages because one of the projects I'm doing right now is I am resurfacing, refinishing the RA7 torso. Which I don't even know if I even talked about this in a long time. Um, I got this thing wearable, used it in a Nerdist shoot. So there's a Nerdist shoot for... It's like a Lando spoof, and I have the full RA7 droid uh, black version in that shoot. And uh, this torso was used there. I'm re sanding it down, uh, repriming it, making it uh, have a better, cleaner finish, and then it's going away. And then I'm going to make another one for myself. Um, but that reminded me of something that I think the last video I made was like a month ago, maybe more. Um, I wanted to talk about the shoulder rings that I've made for these protocol droids. They're the same as on C-3PO, and this is the new C-3PO torso I'm working on for myself as well. Um, the shoulder rings are something I've worked on for a while, and uh, just to give you an example of what that is, this would be the shoulder ring. This is one of them. It goes between the torso part and the shoulder bell, which is out here like this. And uh, this is the shoulder ring. So picture the torso, shoulder bell, shoulder ring. Um, so I've been wanting to redesign this forever because the one on my existing C-3PO is completely inaccurate and I hate it. Uh, the one that's on my suit now just has like a little Velcro strap. So when it's on the suit, the, uh, the shoulder bell swings like this next to the suit. And it shouldn't do that. It should, it should pivot like this almost like a like a bearing in between the torso and the shoulder which looks way better um, so I've just been wanting to fix that for a long time so I've done multiple iterations of these parts for years I mean the first printer I had the GTEC printer I've had a couple years ago some of my first prints on that printer were the original version of the shoulder ring that I was working on um, so let's see so this is the kind of the first generation that I did it's designed like the movie suits except it's plastic obviously the movie suits were made out of uh, movie suit shoulder rings were made out of aluminum um, but the same design so you can see there's right now I have these three little metal wires in here uh, those on the movie suit would just be these tiny little screws that hold it in place and on the inside let me find one that's open I have another one here this is the, another one this is the one I just had here's the same thing without the pins when it opens up you can see this part has like a little um, a little flange goes around the outside and this has a flange on the inside with a groove in it so when you put them together and the screws go through they sit in that groove and they keep this part from falling off and they also let it turn which is really cool so you can see there how the design works really really nifty it has a little notch here for a small hinge so that the shoulder bell would be like this this is just on there with a zip tie but it would uh connect with a hinge and uh, be really really sturdy and good it's a cool design works great but the issue with this is that i have to travel with my suit and it has to go in a small kind of like a rubber made case where that i use to transport everything and when i put it in there i have to take the shoulders off now the problem starts to come up when this is attached the little hinge is put in with screws there's little screws that hold this all together and this piece is actually fastened to the torso so that would mean that i would have to unscrew things just to disassemble the arms for transportation which i don't want to have to do every single time i take the suit out and then every time i put it back not only is it a pain but i think that the plastic the 3d printed plastic wouldn't hold up well to um having screws taken in and out over and over and over again um aluminum might hold up better but i still think over time just the use would wear it out. So I wanted to come up with something different. So we're gonna look at my my design that I came up with. Um, so you can see on here, I've got one, we'll take it off. This is the latest version. Um, same, same concept, works the same, rotates just like the other one did. But instead of having those pins, what there are are these little tabs. So I can just take it apart really easily. Um, and on the inside, there, this is the top where the hinge is, there is a l really long tab here. And at the bottom there are two smaller tabs. And on the inside portion, you can see that 
there are two small openings for the small tabs and no openings for the large tabs. So basically what happens is you take the outer ring upside down, so the shoulder would be completely upside down. Shoulder stays attached to this, Got by the way, guys. That's, I know it might be confusing. But um, completely upside down, large tab on the bottom, and you hook it inside the groove, and then it just shuts real easy. When you flip it over, now it's locked in and it won't come undone. So now the shoulder, the ring rotates like it's supposed to, like the movie suit. Um, it doesn't come off unless I put my arm completely up like this, which I will never do in the costume. Uh, it won't come off. So there it is, comes off super easy and then goes back together super easy. And that way uh, I can transport the suit. Makes it um, very, very convenient. So it still has the same hinge slots and everything. Uh, one other mod that's on here. Let me show you. I'll show you another example of how that works with my uh, my beta version of this. Um, on the back, you can see there's these little holes. I did them all the way around. It really only needs them on half. But those are to fasten these pieces on. So when this hooks on the suit, um, they correspond with holes on the suit, and they literally zip tie on with small zip ties. So this outer ring is just zip tied in place. There's no screws or anything to hold it together. Now, one benefit to that is that, again, with the 3D printed plastic parts, I worry that the little screws through such a small amount of plastic are gonna wear out really quickly. However, with the zip ties, it distributes the load um, over more space, so it's a stronger design. So even though it seems cheaper, it's actually sturdier than if I use screws in the same piece. So, uh, benefit there is great. Now, that is on a 3PO on the Death Star droid here, the RA7 droid. I already have them in place, so we can kind of take a look at how they work. I don't know if we can get in there, but you can see the little zip ties in there. And this is the first design, so that's the newer one I just showed is a little better than this one. But um, so you can see how the zip ties go through. They're all um, sunk in, so they're flush, so nothing gets in the way. And then here's how the shoulder goes together. Like you can see it go on like this, flips upside down. Just like I said previously, it hooks in there, upside down, pops into place, and when you rotate it around, there it is. It's all, it's on there. It's not going anywhere, which is, which is great. Now, this doesn't have the hinge. This is just flipped on there with a zip tie for this example, but it will have a hinge there so it won't flop around so easily. It'll just rotate. Uh, I think it's a cool design. Uh, when I get around to doing the Don Post scans, I'm going to break them up into costume parts. I will include those shoulder rings with uh, this, those parts whenever I repost them on Thingiverse. That's probably going to be in September sometime if my schedule works. Uh, I will also include uh, an updated neck ring, which is the correct scale. Uh, the real one has knurling on it. I modeled it on here and it just didn't print for some reason. I don't know if the slicing software just ignored it for whatever reason. So future version, well, I'll get that straightened out. But just wanted to show that. I've been working on it forever and I finally feel like I'm, I'm happy with the design. Wherever the pieces, I picked it up and the pieces went everywhere, of course, because cool. Um, so just wanted to share it. And then uh, hopefully it's handy to people. And as soon as um, I get this, the Dawn post up, it'll be up there. You guys can download it. It'll be freebie. And, uh, and hopefully you enjoy. And I'm going to try to get back to making videos again, back on some kind of normal schedule. It's been crazy busy here. I'm still in, it's like 10, 18 at night. I've been working since 6 o'clock this morning. And I got another two hours to go at least just tonight. So uh, look at that. EV99 back there. Almost done. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, post that droid up soon as well so everybody can take a look-see. Quite excited about that one. It's coming along very nice. But uh, anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by. Sorry it's been forever, and I will see you kids soon.